Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here in update 5 with our Iron Teeth Beavers. That's what they're called, they're called Beavers. Um on hard mode. And I want to start off by saying uh, I messed this up. I messed this up. I didn't I didn't mess it up, but I've I've failed to factor in something. Uh Zuigi, um uh, Luke and Chris all mentioning that um this reservoir is smaller than I think it is. Not because it's actually physically smaller, but because I've forgotten to take into account that when we change this so that all the water pours into here, when a bad tide comes, this reservoir will be emptied of good water and filled with bad water, because that's what happens. The bad water pushes the good water out to the edge of the map, gets rid of it. So these pumps will have no good water to pump into here, so we'll only have one reservoir of water, not two. Like my brain was telling me we was going to have, because, uh, yeah. So... We need another reservoir on the end uh, to do to do this, but yeah, 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 okay, yes, I got that wrong. However, however, my idea with this as well, having this many pumps here, is that when we do have good water, we'll be able to fill this reservoir quicker, get a much larger volume of water in to here, so it will absolutely be topped off and full when a bad tide comes along. And by the time the bad times are long, because it's moving so much water in here, the channel will be full again and the drinking pumps will be able to fill all of our tanks up and the tanks with the um, fluid dumps should be able to keep the main channel going throughout the entirety of a drought that's the idea so we're storing enough water not just for our beavers but also for uh, filling the channel of water so so that's the idea there we may need more pumps we probably will need not pumps more air uh, uh, tanks. Um, we probably will need more tanks. In fact, I think it's, we need like one tank per breeding pod, didn't we figure out? And we've got 10, 20, 30 breeding pods, and we've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 29, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we don't actually technically have enough if we just instantly stop pumping as soon as the drought come along, uh, we'd have enough. But we do have this rest right here. That's the buffer. So, so yes and no, and yes and no. Um, but it will work. It won't work. It may work. It yes. I don't know. It's it's um it's uh it's it's we'll see. We'll see. We'll build it. We'll see how it works. Um, so we'll see how that goes on there. Um. Uh, we do need to put in our uh, mud baths here and here, but I'm kind of I'm waiting to get we, we've we've once again run out of trees, we run out of trees, we used up all the trees. Uh, we have no planks, no nothing left at all here. We've got trees to planks, but we've got no no planks and years left. So got to wait for the uh, the trees to grow. So uh, it's just been a little bit slow. That's okay. That's okay. We're almost done. We've only got two pumps left to pump. Yeah, two, well, two, three. Technically, got a third one there. So, so yeah. So we're almost done. Almost done. And then we can connect the power up, and that's fine. Um, when it comes to this here, uh, um, again, um, said about swapping this around. So instead of it being left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, we'd go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then here it would be easier to plug the power in. Now, that won't work. This here is where the line is, and that is here, this tile here, which is two tiles away. In order to plug that, that mechanical pump in, we'd have to move it by two tiles up to here, which means the zigzag would be here, so this wouldn't be here, it would be two tiles in, and this would be two tiles in, which would make this reservoir smaller. That's that's my, that's that's the reason I've replied to people saying that, it would make this reservoir smaller. And other people saying, no, it wouldn't, you just flip it around, it'd be fine. But 50 round doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't change anything if we flip it round um, because the pump would be here. And pumps cannot accept power on these faces here. This face and this face, they cannot accept power. Only on the very ends can they accept power into it. So so if, if we move this pump up to here, it wouldn't do anything for us at all. We'd still have to bring the power around and plug into this one here anyway. And I realised I messed that one up. That one should be a T-junction because we need the power to come in like that. The power's going to come in and plug in there. So yeah. So there's no point in flipping this round. Um, it doesn't make any sense. And as we moved it up to this line here, 
um, and then did something else going on there. Which um, is an option to do because I've had an idea of some things, but I'm not. I've, I've, I've kind of talked myself out of it, even after. Um, Luke, Luke replied about doing something on this side of the map. Let me go into free camera mode again. Um, like doing a second district over here and doing something different completely. Uh, so, like, I don't know, beavers live more naturally over here or something, I'm not sure. However, I kind of got to the idea of, so, um, this here, this, this, the map is 250 long. This here, this power line here, and the centre of the district is absolutely spot bang centre of the map. In, from this side, this length. Not, not up and down, left and right. So what I was thinking was, if we zoom out, uh, let me shrink those down out of the way there for a minute. What I was thinking, and this was, this is a long, not a long, a long project to do, but not a long one to watch really, because it would just be easier. But we have a cold rabbit field here. What if we took that and took everything else that's here and rotated it 180 degrees and put it here? So this cold rabbit field went up here. With the exception of the power line, the power line would have to continue all the way on the map because that's there. But that's fine because in between these two here, we figured out this is exactly halfway between the two. That was not planned. The water sources, that was not planned, but that's that's what it's so, so our district center, if you take out our power line uh, reservoir, so, so you say this is the edge of the map and this is the edge of the map. So our dam's here and this on the inside, this one here, this, this is the edge of the map. This is absolutely spot bang center of the map, which uh, was not intentional, but awesome. Um, but we could, we could flip this round 180 degrees. Um, so this core rabbit field ends up over here. We'd move the metal mines there and we go along and we say, and we have a channel, more channel coming on this way, just so we've got one going this way. We build a reservoir system like this, flipped on this side. Where we put the industry, I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe on top of uh, this, we could just build up on top of this and not worry about it once we've got a pan device for it. We do need to extend this or do something with it um, to make it work better. So. Yeah, and then we'd have to pour water two directions because this reservoir would feed this channel and then this reservoir would feed that channel. So that could involve lowering the water uh, sources down um, and then changing up this to have a small channel along which um, feeds a large tank over here and then that feeds and that feeds. And then the same here, we have a small channel that comes along that feeds the tank and then that feeds, that feeds. And then, so the drinking pumps for this one would be here. The reservoir pump would be here and then we'd have another reservoir here and it would fit. It would kind of fit if we kept it into it well here into it, this line between this line and however much space is that side there we have to fit all the reservoirs in so and we could make one giant reservoir um from it and then just feed both sides that way um or we could i, I don't know i don't know it's an idea it's an idea but the vast majority of that idea will be filling the land or flattening the land and then just copying this and building it and i want to do it but i don't feel like it's going to be uh it's 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 there's no struggle there's no struggle involved there's no like oh will we make it or because we've got it we've got a stab established area here so we'll just have builders go up and build and come back in and, and it's not it's not you know a major struggle it's not going there um if there were water sources over here um, we could very much go and build a second district and just go, okay, this district is going to be independent on its own, see if it can survive and we'll do a second district on the same map, but it doesn't work that way, so, but, yeah. Um, oh, look, we have 10 days left and we run out of water, but that's okay, because we have 35,000 water and uh, that should be enough for 10 days, because one of these tanks supplies one of these pods, and by one of these pods, I mean not the actual pod itself, the beavers that it produces, uh, for 30 days. We've only got 10 days, so we're good. We good. Water will be fine. Water will be absolutely fine. No problems at all. So yeah, I just I'm I'm more on I'm I'm more. I've replied to Luke saying about this flip around here, and now I've kind of talked myself out of it because I'm more kind of like I want to move on. I want to move on to something. The the building up to this point, I feel is more enjoyable than playing at the at the end. Um, just want to get this stable so that we don't have to use mods to open these gates here and then I can just sit back and watch it and it's fine. We might even be there kind of now. 
um, once we fill this in here and get the mechanical pumps going and what else. So, speaking of which, should we do that? Should we do that whilst this is? This, oh no, we we need we need we need more resources. I can't build another pump here, so I think we'll we'll go there. So, so yeah. So yeah, uh, Zuigi also mentioned, uh, uh, Mr. Morky, uh, going up the ones here, um, uh, you mentioned about the whole uh, putting mud baths in, in between here. Yes, yep, that was the plane plan I came up with. Great minds think alike. Um, uh, and also the path wasn't connected here somewhere, which I fixed now, here or here, one of these two. Uh, that is fixed now, so that's working fine. Um, uh, lumberjacks as well. Uh, here, I don't know if anybody else noticed, I put lumberjacks in instead of gathering flags. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We have done this here. Um, I don't know if these have actually. I, I think these might have gone through a cycle. No, no, they haven't gone through a cycle once yet. They take ten days. This might not be enough to run our beam population. We might need a second one over here, which would kind of then. Actually, no, we could run a second one over here. That's fine. We have this space. This is not a problem. Okay, so we'll we'll see. We'll see if this is not enough. Once it does a whole wave, uh, we'll do a second lot of mangrove. Won't be a problem. Uh, speaking of that, I've opened all the farms as well. Uh, our kohlrabi actually ran out. We completely ran out of kohlrabi. So um, I restarted all the farms and I kind of realised we got spare beavers. Everything's restarted. So, yeah. Um, as we also mentioned, um, and I, I agree this is a good idea and we'll probably do this once this is working. Uh, in these alcoves that you call it here, um, and I can see it now I'm looking at it. I couldn't see it before. Um, I thought you were talking about over here. Um, but in, in here, in these alcoves here, where the mechanical pumps dump water into, we fill with land all the way up to one below the edge here. So this will all be full and it will just have this this section here will be one deep. And the reason behind that is that the water will pump into here, will pour along, pour into the main reservoir, and then the reservoir has a solid edge all the way along. It's only the top layer that has this extra edge because of the uh, the, the, uh, the evaporation. Evaporation or moisture seepage or um, mitosis whatever you want to call it um does work on edge sizes here um i know i can't remember it was in the comments mentioned that um it's not on that and they tested it and and i've tested it and it is so we're going to test it right now i'm going to show you right now and i'm going to use the cheats to do it slightly as well so i'm going to bring the cheat menu because i'm going to do it over here where we're away from the base so it doesn't matter with the cheat menu up i can build whatever i want to build so uh, that's the bottom of the map i can't build it there okay so what we'll do then is we will fill the bottom of the map if you hold control, it feels it does everything. It just instant places things. We'll do this. Well, there you go. So we filled the bottom of the map now, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't. We can. I can black out again later. But we want to do a five by five. Uh, oh, I did not hold the right button. I turn. Ah, I turn the menu off. Oh. Got into the habit of not wanting to play with that cheat menu on. So five by five there. And then we want to do a five by five here. Like this. But I'm going to do that one there as well. We'll take out that one. Get rid of that one there. So these are both five by fives. They both have 25 tiles. Yep. If we detonate this out and we detonate this out, boom. 25 tiles. This has five, 10, 15, 20 edges. This has five, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then it's got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 edges. This has 20. This has 24 edges. I pause the game and I put in a uh, water source there and there. We'll unpause the game for a couple of seconds. Uh, it's bad water at the moment. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oop, there we go. And then we remove those water sources by using the delete objects tool. And I will put in some uh, stream gauges. Okay. And pause and pause again just for a moment. Here we go. Boom. So you, oh, uh, you are. Wobbling around 0 0.6. You are 0 0.6. You are 0 0.6, 0 0.5. So, yeah. so they're both the same depth. Okay. If I reset them now, they're all balanced. Okay. They're both 0 0.6. Right. We will super speed the game up to 30 times speed. 
because we can with the sheet metal gunner. It doesn't matter. We, we, we need logs, so our main base is doing everything anyway here. Um, and we'll leave this running for a little tiny bit. And you'll see this one will evaporate quicker than this one. It's not going to be a great deal because it's only four extra tiles compared to this one. So this is 20, this is 24. Um, uh, but um, yeah, so, but it, it is, it is, it is slight. It is slight going on there. So that's been about a day or so. Let's slow time down back to that one there. So this one is now at 0 0.54 and this one is at 0 0.53. 5-4, 5-3, 5-4, 3 It's not a lot. It's not a lot. But as I said, it's only four extra X tiles. But when you consider what it's going to be here with how many extra X tiles this is here comparing to a solid line, or what it is in like a river where you've got all these little drop bits compared to a straight line, the evaporation, it's not evaporation, but the um, the edge evaporation, the edge transfer of water, moisture, um, yeah, the uh, the... I, I don't know what the word is for it. I keep wanting to say mitosis. It's not the right word. Um, it is mitosis is the thing of stuff seeping, but that's in cells. That's not water seeping into the um, into the land. Um, it's just moisture. It's just moisture. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure, but um, but yeah, it is. It does. It does make a difference. So if we go super speed again here, and I'll, I'll get rid of this here. So. Um, and we leave it for a little while longer. We will see. This one will dry out before this one. It'll only be like maybe a couple of game day, game hours, maybe half a game day or something. It won't be dramatic at all because it's such a small test area. But there is a difference between the two. So, um, so it does matter when you're dealing with stuff like this. It does matter. So, um, so yeah, um, and it is kind of edge, and it's it's also if you do a larger body of water. Um, you have more edge area, but you've got more water in the area, so the drain is different. You have to make sure you've got the same amount of tiles of water. So this is 25 tiles of water. This is 25 tiles of water. It's just the edge area is different, and then it evaporates differently. But if it was just evaporation from the surface, they should drain at the same speed because they both have 25 tiles of water. So, yeah. Um, and it's an experiment you can do yourself. You can check it. You can find out you know, how it works. Um, it's, it's, it's dead simple to do, so... There we go. It's been another another day or so. Let's slow time down, and we are on 0 0.41 here, and we're on 0 0.42 here. Again, it's not it's it's a tiny amount, but um, this is going to take a number of days to to soak down. Norm normally, I run the game at super super high speed when I'm doing these tests, um, and let the water drain right down quite far, and then you see the difference. But I can't do that because super super high speed doesn't work with the beavers actually doing stuff. So. What I'll do is I'm going to put a cut in here. Actually, that's what we'll do. We'll put a cut in here. I will come back when this is almost drained out. Um, uh, and then I can show you the differences between the two um, because I just need to wait for some trees to come in anyway so yeah um, let me let me just wait for this to drain out basically down to uh, almost nothing and then I'll come back and I'll show you the difference between the two okay so I just literally missed it it just evaporated out like a moment ago <laughs> and uh, this is on 0.4 So yeah, um, excuse me. Uh, it um, I said it's such a small from a point sixty on twenty five tiles. Um, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. So, uh, but it is a difference. So as you can see, it does it does drain out a little tiny bit. Uh, I was actually running the game at uh, ninety nine speed trying to get it done, and you can't <laughs> you can't click to pause the game uh, because obviously I don't have the pause on the keyboard anymore. I, I got rid of that. So, uh, but yeah. So, so this took. Uh, how many days? I don't remember what day we were on, but um, uh, it, yeah, it um, took so many days to run out, and this has still got a couple of hours left to it. Small test area, but still, you can see there is a difference between that. So, so there we go. There we go. Okay, and we'll get rid of the, that there so we don't get any bonuses from that. Okay, not that we would get any bonuses from that. How are we doing? We have finished our pumps, which is awesome. Um, we've got some beavers died of hunger, which makes sense. It makes sense. You see hunger and thirst. Beavers dying of hunger and thirst here. Look at this. Look at this. Loads of beavers dying of hunger and thirst. That is because I was running the game at 99 speed. I think I've explained this before. Yeah, look, everyone's. Um, uh, you can build the chimney up, um, and when you have the debug menu, the development console up, um, 
you don't just have three speeds you also have uh, you press four on the keyboard to get 30 speed or five to get um a 99 speed at 99 speed and i completely forgot this as i was testing this over here um, at 99 speed because the frame rate drops so bad in the game sometimes beavers do not do things they should be doing so they don't work in buildings properly they don't get food or water you see we've got loads of beavers dying of hunger and thirst and things even though there's loads of water and food available purely because the game was running so fast they couldn't actually path to it they couldn't calculate what they needed before their their um needs died off so we're gonna have loads of beavers die off with us it's happened before i've done it a few times when i'm running the game at full speed i must remember not to use 99 time speed but i was watching this and not paying attention over there because when i had the development console up it didn't tell me it didn't tell me that's okay that's okay we'll have a small drop in our beaver population that won't affect us at all um however we have got this built here so maybe we should get this going over here so let's remove off there let us run a power line in here now i've got to build this backwards and slowly because beavers are stupid when it comes to building these sort of things um okay, and we also do this here so one two three four five uh, six uh and we will put in the mechanical bump that way it says no why does it say no Ah, because that's there. We can't put the pump in until because that's there. It can't it can't dump on that. So Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll let this we'll let this do stay here. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No problem. Okay. There was also a comment, uh I don't think it was on the last episode, it was on a previous one. Um uh, I can't see it now, which is a little annoying. no okay i guess the comment's been deleted um uh um it was somebody's asking why the reservoir was only four deep um it's not it's seven deep so uh or six deep um so yeah um but i think they they must have missed miss seat i think they would probably think no this is only two deep so it doesn't matter doesn't matter um uh whoever it was don't worry if you're watching um no the reservoir is absolutely um seven uh six deep six deep is two Two, three deep, three, three uh, triple platforms. Two triple platforms high. So, okay. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. Do I have enough treated planks and things for this? Well, I got enough treated planks. Treated planks was not a problem. The issue was gears, and we have enough gears now, so that's good. Okay, so we should be fine here. We're gonna put the last one in here, which is cool. The water is still very much flowing in here at the moment. It should reach a kind of an equilibrium very, very, very soon. Come on, beavers, come on. Oh, I also need to change up this here. So we've got loads of things. I need to put more of these in. We'll do that after the pump. We'll get the pump done first because that's uh, important. And then we're going to remove these three here and put in three more of these guys because we've got loads of uh, dance halls now, which should keep our beavers... Exercise parts are no, still not, but that's okay because the uh, the timing that's fine, that's fine. Okay, come on, come build this, come build this, and you build that one. Well done, uh, let's go in there. So we can remove that and that. We oh, I just deleted the rubble, we really wanted the rubble. Oh well, mechanical pump wants to go that way. And this wants to be the highest priority build. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's delete these three up here. And we'll put in the uh, wind tunnels instead. Because there's power up here and there's no power down there, so that's why we've done that. We need the mud baths in as well. That'd be fine, we'll get that going there. Um, we could also cut down the work days a little bit, I suppose. To give them a bit of a breather. We'll go from 16 but i think we'll go to 12 hour we'll go to 12 hour days so okay mechanical pump is built okay so um let's plug this in here 
and see what our power drain is like. So our power drain right now with everything running and doing the things is uh, 14, 14, 305, 14 and a half thousand, something like that, because there's a couple of things that aren't running in. Yeah, 14, 305. Not sure where the 05's coming from. Does something use 15 power or something? I don't know. Do these, these use five at a time, don't they? No, they want 100. 14305 uses five power what uses five and it's something that's running at night as well yeah it's something that's running at night what uses five power what uses five power that runs at night time uh these use 400 power these use 600 power these are not running. All right, pause a moment. Hold on. What uses five power at night? Do we have? We don't have any clock or anything. They don't need any power. Um. It's got to be some. It's, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. These just charge, so that's fine. We're using seven thousand two hundred and seventy-five power at night time. How are we using that much power at night time? I'm going to get you all running. These aren't running. Uh, mind you, actually, we've got three of those. It's 1,200. That's there. What? I'm sure one of you in the comments will know what uses the odd five power or is using like a 15 power or something. Um, I don't know anything that uses... Everything uses round numbers, doesn't it? Let me, right, I'm going to pause those pumps there for a moment. Okay, unpause. Well, everyone's asleep, so nothing's running at the moment, so... 1975. None of these are running. These are all off right now. So we just have entertainment running. So the wind turbines are 400. They're all the time. The tribute intensity is 600. So there's 1,000. There's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. There. Three thousand four hundred for the motoriums. What am I missing here? What am I missing here? This is not connected. What am I missing here that's draining our power? Um These are not running. I'm very confused. Uh, the tributes do not require power. What? What is requiring power? I'm, I'm sure one. I'm sure some of you. I'm sure some of you know. You know what? None, none, none of these operational buildings are using power at all. So all we have is the wind turbines, the wind tunnels, which are 400, and the tribute and tribute. So that's a thousand there. That's a thousand there. That's two thousand. That's three thousand. This is three thousand four hundred. Right. So that's 3,400 power. Uh, these are not running. These are running. Okay, there's another 1,000 power there. So that's 4,400. There's an extra 75. There's an extra 75 in use somewhere. And I do not know what is, what, what is using 75 power. What building uses 75 power? I'm, I'm sorry, I've gone off on a complete scroll. The scrolls have got me, the power scrolls have got me. What uses 75 power that we've got built somewhere that's doing something? I don't know of any building that uses 75 power. Um, we have the number, no, we don't have the number cruncher anymore. We've got rid of the number cruncher. That's gone. No number cruncher anymore. Um, They're 100, we've counted them. Gra scratches don't, works don't, plazas don't. You're 400, you're 200. The clock 
doesn't, we need to put that down the clock. None of these have power usage. Uh, oh. You have power usage. Something using 75 power. Does anybody know what is using 75 power? You use, well, you're using zero. You're all using zero in here. Yep, yeah, you're all using zero in here. You don't use power, you're using zero. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if any building that uses 75 power. Um, an industrial lumber, ca lumber mill uses 75 power so like one of them is running yes yes why are you running why are you running at basically 2 a.m what, what, what why are you you're not you're sleeping do we have a bugged a bugged industrial mill that's just using power all the time hmm how strange oh well we found it and this one here's running as well now. Mind you, it's morning now, so yeah. So I found one. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave this here because otherwise I'm going to go mad. And um, we'll get the pumps running for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.